Hello, and welcome to the SAP HANA Academy. My name is Tom, and in this series of videos, we'll be looking at SAP S4 HANA. In this set of videos, we'll be looking at extending SAP S4 HANA with analytics tools. In this particular video, we'll show how to connect to an SAP S4 HANA analytic query using SAP Lumera. First, we will show you how to configure your SAP Lumera desktop application so that it can be connected to your SAP S4 HANA system. If you've already connected your SAP Lumera desktop to your SAP S4 HANA system and are looking for instructions on designing an SAP Lumera, then you'll want to go to SCN instead. Please do a browser search on SAP SCN Lumera to go to the SAP Lumera community. Log in with your user certificate. Then in the questions area, click on the link for tutorials. Here you will find a lot of videos on designing with SAP Lumera. Now go to the SAP HANA Academy. And then in the SAP S4 HANA section, you will find this playlist. And in this previous series of videos, we created a virtual data model. And finally, in that data model, we created the CDS view, which in turn created an analytic query. We're going to connect to the flights by airport query that we created in this video series. If you haven't completed that set of videos, that's okay, as this portion of the video will be applicable to using many of the available analytic queries in SAP S4 HANA. There is one main requirement to connect to SAP S4 HANA analytic queries, and that is you must be using virtual version 1.30 or higher of the SAP Lumera desktop application. If you go to the help menu and choose about SAP Lumera, you can check your version there. In my case, I'm using version 1.31.0. And so I just have one more configuration step, which we will show in a bit. If you are using an early version of the SAP S4 HANA trial from the SAP Cloud Appliance Library or SAP Cal, then you may be using version 1.29 and you'll need to upgrade this version. One option to upgrade your SAP Lumera desktop app is to go to the help, check for upgrades menu, but if you get this message, you can still download the package manually. If you do see home page rendered in your SAP Lumera desktop, then your proxy should be okay. If you see an internet connectivity error, then please go to the file menu, choose preferences, and then go to network to set your proxies properly. You can easily download the latest version of SAP Lumera by going back to the SAP Lumera SCN community page and in the Get Instant Access section, click on Download and then start your free trial. Once the download has completed, then just make sure your SAP Lumera desktop is closed and double click on the download to start the update process. Please don't uninstall your SAP Lumera app first, as this download does work as an update. After the upgrade has finished, open up SAP Lumera, and we need to do one more configuration step before we can connect to our SAP S4 HANA system. Now, back in your SAP Lumera, go to the File menu, and then choose Extensions. And then choose Install for the SAP BW Data Acquisition Connector. This connector will also allow you to download data from SAP S4 HANA analytic views. After you've restarted SAP Lumera, go to the File menu and then choose New so that we can add a new data set. Click on the Download from SAP Business Warehouse option and then click Next. And in the Connect To menu, use Local BW System, even though this will be for SAP S4 HANA. In the Server menu, I already have an entry for my SAP S4 HANA system, as I am using the SAP S4 HANA trial system as previously mentioned. For the Client ID, use 100, and then use your user credentials. I will use my Shaw account. Once you've entered your user credentials, click Connect. Now in the View Select menu, change this to Info Areas. And we see folders that are broken down into various business areas. If you open one of them up, like Materials Management, and then Purchasing, 
you can see all of the available analytic queries in this area. Please note that these are not the OData services created via CDS, rather they are the analytic queries. You can find out more about these various queries in the SAP S4HANA Launchpad's Query Browser, where you can see all of the query's metadata, including the query level and the field level CDS annotations. We do have a video on using that particular tool, and you can watch this by going to the SAP HANA Academy at academy.saphana.com. Once on the YouTube page, scroll down to find the S4HANA section, choose the playlist S4HANA Analytics, and then click on the link for using the Query Browser to examine CDS Query Metadata. Now go back to Lumera. At the beginning of the video, I mentioned that we would be using a custom query to connect to, and because this is part of our custom development space, scroll to the bottom of the folders in the Data Source dialog, and you'll see a folder named Unassigned Notes. When I open this folder, I see that in my case there are a couple of objects with the same name. Product sales, product sales, flight by airport, flight by airport. To get more info on these, press on the gear icon on the top right and choose show text slash key. The CDS views that we're looking for belong to the SHA user and it is the 2CZXCHIFLIGHTTA view. We can also open this and see another view underneath with a technical name of 2CZXSH underscore C flight AQ. Now, open Eclipse. I'll pause the recording and resume once Eclipse is open. In Eclipse, logged in as the SHA user, if we take a quick look at the last two objects we created in CDS, the first of which is a composite view called Flight by Airport. In the fifth line of its code, we have the annotation analytics.data category cube. This annotation has exposed this particular cube to analytics. And if you notice that just like in Lumera, it is named Flight by Airport. This is due to the annotation in the line above called enduser.textlabel. The final CDS that we created, and the one that is open here, was a consumption view based on the composite cube we just looked at in the Flight by Airport. This CDS, Flight by Airport Query, in the fifth line, has an annotation analytics.query true. This means that it is exposed to analytic views. This also has the user-friendly name of available flights as a result of the annotation above and user text label. If we go back to the data connector in SAP Lumera, we can also see that the structure of the available flights analytic query is based on the flight by airport cube. You can use either of these objects to design your SAP Lumera visualization, but we'll choose the available flights analytic query as it was the final object that had our selection filter. Select the available flights analytic query and then press next. Please note that we have two prompts resulting from the filters that have been defined in our CDS consumption view, one for departure airport and one for arrival airport. The one for departure airport is mandatory and because it is a required variable, we will choose FRA for Frankfurt Airport and then press OK. It is very important to note that you should add as many measures and dimensions as you think you will possibly need for your visualization. As this is a data acquisition connection, you will want to get as large of a data set to use locally as you can. This is especially important because when you are using these analytic connections, they will aggregate the data to the lowest level hierarchy in your data set. For example, we can choose available seats as the sole measure, an airline as the only dimension, and then press create. Please be aware that if the screen sits there for a while during preparation, then you will need to give SAP Lumera a kick by restarting it. Once here, click on the prepare tab, to see that available seats is not returned as the individual discrete rows and their occurrences in the data set. If you go to the data tab and choose edit data source, we can add more of the available fields after we choose Frankfurt again as a departure airport. We're going to add all of the measures to the data set using the shift key to select them all and move them all to create your Umera data set column. Before we start to add fields to the dimensions, Please be aware that many dimensions have attributes, such as the manufacturer of the plane type. Other fields in your analytic query, such as flight date, may have an available data hierarchy. So you can see it has three hierarchies, weekday, year month day, year quarter, month day. If you want to add all of the fields to the dimensions, you will have to open all of the attributes and hierarchies before you try to select them all. We will do a select all on all of the dimensions that we have open, again using the shift key. 
and move them over. Please note that only the attributes and hierarchies that we've opened have been brought over to the data set that will be acquired. First click on the plane type, attribute, and flight date hierarchies to open them up before pressing OK to finalize the selection. Note that now in the prepare view, the distinct values in the available seats will be sums based on the new dimensionality. This concludes the steps on connecting SAP Business Objects Lumera to an SAP S4 HANA analytic query. Again, as mentioned previously, please see the SAP Lumera tutorial page on SCN for numerous videos on designing data visualizations in SAP Business Objects Lumera.